Hi everyone. Well, here it is, the 6th of July already, and uh, looking for things to scan uh, and projects to do. I thought, hey, what about this? This is the uh, turn signal indicator from an 80s era Harley Sportster. Uh, it's brand new. I've had it in my junk since all that time. A friend of my son's bought a new Sportster with some insurance settlement he got, and the first thing he did was take take the turn indicators off because he didn't like the look. <laughs> but I've had them all these years, so I thought it'd be a good thing to scan and see what kind of detail, if any. I mean, you know, there's some uh, embossed lettering on it that uh, I was curious to see if it'd pick it up, but mainly to see if you could reproduce a taillight lens via 3D printing with the right materials and so forth. Um, I don't have the time right now to pursue that as a project. I want to, uh, especially with the, the advent of all these handheld scanners. It's pretty cool. But uh, that was the Pop 1. Now here's the Pop 2. You see they look pretty close. They're pretty similar. I brought these into uh, Revo Studio to display them. And also I cut off the scan rings that I use uh, to make sure I get a good scan. Uh, chop those off there. Now you see you could you could just about locate the mounting holes there and use that as a part. Take a little bit of post-processing but I just wanted to show the raw scans without a whole lot of touching up so I didn't fill holes or anything. Here's the lizard. I did this in their their uh, geometry mode. They have two turntable modes, uh, well, two scanning modes, geometry and texture. And I did this one in geometry. You can see it picked those holes up pretty nice and picked up the uh, picked up the shell, the little indentations in the shell there for the screw access. With a little bit of work that could be a usable part could print that little raggedy on the bottom uh, the rebel point scanners have a cleaner edge there they're all scanned under the same conditions the same prop and the same plate and all of that so tried to make the comparison relevant there is one thing I need to find out how to turn off. Now here's the mini scan. I need to find out how to turn off the uh, denoise in the lizard software. I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't found how to do it. But see that lettering, you can see that. The embossed lettering made in USA. The Department of Transportation notification the Harley Davidson part number and the Harley Davidson logo turned out pretty nice well there's the four scans you guys thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video have a great time with those scanners whichever one you have I like all four of mine for different reasons each anyway see you next time bye for now